years ago, not in the last century, but in the one before that, there was a man from this area who went to America and he composed a very famous song called Banner's Lonely Shore. And that man was John Kane, or John Keane, I suppose. I don't know whether it's K-A-N-E or K-E-A-N-E. Uh, somebody will tell me. But he wrote this song in America, I think around maybe 1860, 1870, around that time, it's a long, long time ago. And he came home with the song, and it was, it was sung by uh, local people here in the parish. And it never, it, it, it never was lost. It has always been sung in this area. And that was written by uh, one of our own, John Kane from Bano. And I'll try and attempt to sing it now. Brown Bano's lonely banks farewell where once I used to stray to view the craft of smaller size glide swiftly o'er the bay the birds above that rocky shore their sweetest notes do pour re-echo through the silent woods Round Banno's lonely shore. The boys with whom my youth was spent while dancing on the green, their smiling faces I behold, though years roll wide between. Their youthful joys they knew no care, though sadly I deplore. When I cast back my wandering eyes to Banno's lonely shore. The little schoolhouse on the hill, it still appears in view. As bright and beautiful as when I bade my last adieu. But those happy days are past and gone, perhaps to come no more. Yet recollection brings me back to Banno's lonely shore. As on my pillow I recline in a foreign land to rest, the thoughts of Banno's lonely bank still throbs within my breast. When silent sleep steals over me, I dream I see once more the rocky cliffs that close abound by Banno's lonely shore. With these few lines I now conclude and I bid a long farewell. May heaven's beams bright shine bright on all who on those banks do dwell. May happiness forever reign and choices blessings pour where first I drew the breath of life round Banno's lonely shore.